Controllers are dumb. They're uncomfortable, overcomplicated, and all around just not very good. But surely not all controllers have to be like this, right? Surely there's got to be one controller out there that's actually bearable to use. Holy shit. This is the Rock Band Wii Drum Kit. It's a drum kit that was designed to play Rock Band games on Wii. And I think it's probably one of the best controllers out there. But you can't really consider it a proper controller yet. I mean, it's only compatible with like two games on Wii compared to the thousands that other controllers can play. So obviously my only option to prove the value of this controller is to make a game for it. First, I set up the basic inputs, which was pretty easy. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but basically, each drum is just read as a regular button press on a controller. So if I figure out what drum correlates with what button on the controller, then if I press this thing, it does a thing. Pretty cool, huh? No, it's not. Not without some graphics, anyway. So I ended up making this little bean man, and I gave him some nice tune lighting. For this game, I wanted to make a whack-a-mole game where you see the moles pop up on the screen out of these fancy pipes I modeled, and have to hit the correlating drum to politely nudge it back down. <clears throat> With all the models, I was able to place them in a shape like this, kinda like how the drum kit looks, and I made a few animations for them. But in case you couldn't tell, this isn't actually a rhythm game. I just coded it so these guys pop out of the pipes every second or so. What a rhythm game needs is... Music. So of course, I decided to start off by creating a vignette. Why did I do that? Then I did some messing with animations and a lot of the behind the scenes code for stuff like spawning the moles. But none of that is really that interesting to watch unless you're a registered nerd, which I happen to be. So basically, I keep a list of objects and each object has a number for the time it should appear at and the spot that it should appear in. Then I can just check if it's past the object's time, spot a mole there, and then remove it from the list. Now, it's not super performant to be constantly checking every object in the list every frame, so I actually only check the first one and have them organized by time. I also mentioned needing a level editor. That's because while having a list of spots like this works, I don't want to manually type out every spot for every level. I've done that before, and trust me, it's not fun. So it's settled. Time to create a level editor. After a little bit of work, I had a functional editor that looks like this, and it's definitely not at all a ripoff of the Sound Dodger 2 editor. Nope. I also took a very professional UI design class, and I changed the UI from this to this, which in my opinion looks pretty alright. And I made some nice vector art for the editor, as well as a preview window and some nice sliders for the effects like blur, chromatic aberration, and some others to modify the look of these background stars. But now let me introduce you to Clicky. Using groundbreaking state-of-the-art video game technology, I was able to turn your regular boring mouse cursor into this. Look at him go. So with that, the main game is done. We have gameplay, UI, the editor, and clicky. But we don't have any levels, which is a problem in most video games. And each level also needs its own song, so I scoured itch.io for hours searching for the best of the best. And by that I mean I grabbed whatever music didn't cost money, because I have no budget for this project. Then I just got to work throwing together a few levels, and making some extra features in between like a score overlay and the level end screen. And with those made, the game is done. And playable, too. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the drums, it still fully supports them. While you can play the game with the regular drumsticks, I think it's better to try some alternative methods. You can whack them all with your hands, the feet, and more. But I think the best option is to get a wooden mallet or two to make it even more true to the game. Or, you know, you can just use ASDF on your keyboard instead like any normal person would. Anyway, the game is free, go get it. Like and subscribe if you don't understand the game or join my channel membership, you get a special version of the game where the moles have top hats and some other things. Bye.